Well, we mean now the Dons midfielder, Paris Magoma. Paris, how good does it feel to have a win under our belts again tonight? Feels great, man. Feels absolutely brilliant. I think we've got to give credit to ourselves. Um, the boys worked extremely hard. We showed passion, heart and what it means to play for this football club. Um, the fans were behind us from minute one and then it's, um, it's good that we can give them the win today. They deserve it and um, I think so do we. Not to be too disappointed about it, but I mean, the first half, did we start a little bit slow to, to pick yeah, up from? Yeah, I think, I think when, we came in, when we came in from the first half and we, and we spoke to each other and um, we told each other that we have to have more of a tempo to our game and then literally as soon as the second half started, I think everyone could see that we was more lively, more energetic and then um, that got us obviously the first goal and then after that we didn't like, just want to be like, yeah, let's just settle for a draw. We kept going. And then um, we pushed on and we got another goal. So it's, um, I think I think we need to learn how to um, start the game better. But um, at the end of the day, we won two one, so it's um, it's a good result. Two more goals for Josh Davison as well. <sighs> yeah, now nah, he's been he's been he's been he's been excellent in and around the building on the pitch. I think everyone can see that he works hard. He works hard. He um, works his socks off, and um, I'm I'm very happy that he got his two goals today because he he deserves that as well. And you said it's just about trying to convert that into a full 90 minute performance now, what we yeah. showed second half at Bradford and today. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I think um, we go back in um, straight on Monday morning. We have a debrief, we, we, we talk we talk as a team and um, see what um, bits we can improve on, what we can do better and then um, try to implement it next Saturday. But I think now as a group we're starting to come together a little bit more, which is um, reflecting that on the pitch. But what a save by Nick Zanov at the end there oh, to keep us the win, eh? It's kept us in there. It's kept us in there 100% easy. He was excellent all day. Um, coming back from the 2-2 the against Bradford when we conceded in the last 60, 90 seconds. And then today, that's probably the, the 60 seconds left. And he's put in a world of a save and it saved, and it saved us. He saved the team. And he's been under a bit of scrutiny recently, so that's, that's really important yeah, for him and the team. Yeah, 100% it will help him. Um, and it will help us. Because um, we will we'll keep backing him every single day, every single game. We'll, we'll be behind him no matter what. So um, I'm, I'm happy for him. What about these Wimbledon players with commitment to the cause? We saw it with Will Nightingale and, and unfortunately he's now going to be out for a while. And yourself today, you played through the pain barrier? Yeah, I think um, at the end of the day, you just gotta, you just got to keep going. Like you gotta have, you got to have, uh, have a big heart. you got to show desire, passion. Because, yeah... From minute one, I was hurting, but at the end of the day, you're playing for five, six thousand people. You're playing for your family, your friends. You're playing for everything. You're playing for your career, so you just gotta work through that. And then when you can't give any more, you know that there's gonna be someone else that can fill in and put 100% in as well. How much did that give you lift as well today? I mean, over 7,000 in here again today. What with the train strike and everything else going on today. Experiencing senior football, it must give you a real lift, yeah. No, hundred percent. It, it boosts us. Having the crowd, having the crowd behind us, it boosts us. Hundred percent. It makes us feel good. It makes us feel more confident. Um, you can hear them when they're cheering your name and they're when they're singing chants. It's um, it's great. And I think definitely after we scored that first goal, they didn't shut up. So, <laughs> well, they weren't quiet. So um, they was they was they was loud and um, they kept us going. And I think. That's our that's our that's our twelfth man, and they helped us get um they helped us get the other goal and then helped us see the game out. So it's nice. It's good to have that um to have the fans behind us 100. percent But we really had to graph for that as well because yeah. they were bringing on some big men towards the end of the game. Weren't yeah. They? yeah, yeah, yeah. They were there. Yeah, they brought on I think two two big strikers, was it? So um, it was um it was a, it was a test of character I'd say today. Um, obviously, as a team. The last four or five games haven't gone the way we would want it to go. And then today, back at home, and we knew as a team that we have to give it 100%, no matter who we come up against. doesn't matter if he's six foot nine or whatever, we have to, we have to fight. And I think we saw today that um, Ayub, he's about five foot two, <laughs> and he, um, he worked his socks off as well. And he was fighting against their centre half, he's about six foot four. Um, and he was getting the better of him all game. So um, I think at the end of the day, it comes back to what I said, uh, it just comes back to this. It just comes back to what you're playing for, your heart. And um, today I think that really shone. And the key word from, from management from players seems to be this week as well is consistency, getting consistency in our results now. No, yeah? 100%. I think um, we've got a decent run of games now. Um, and we've got to be, toge we've got to be together. 
Um, there's a real togetherness in the change room, um, and after today's win, I think it's this is just this is just the this is the platform, this is the foundation. We still got a long way to go. You're branching into media yourself, I hear. You got a little side project going on. What's that yeah, about, yeah. Paris? Um, to be fair, I think because as um as a footballer, you got a lot of spare time. Um, you get home at about two, three o'clock, and then the rest of the day you're not really doing anything. Um, and I like I like gaming, like being with my friends. So um, I think I just got um, a photographer just to come round. Um, um, Lorenzo, his name's Lorenzo, um, and he just um, he just films around. And I just everyday life really, like what I'll normally do. But it's just a, it's just someone's there, just 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 filming me. And then um, it's more about showing my journey to everyone else because it's never always easy. There's always going to be ups and downs. And, um, I want people to to see that. So it's not like everything's just luxury, luxury, because there's not. There's a lot of hard work and sacrifice that goes behind it. Um, and I think that's what I want people to see more than just um, seeing what, what they normally see on social media, where um, everyone's living the high life, but it's not always like that. You've got, you got to go through some things, you've got to go through pain um, to get some success. Um, and I think that's what I want to show to the young boys and to anyone, really. He's going to have plenty of good material for this weekend, oh, isn't 100%. he? 100%. 100% you'll have good material for this week. Paris, well done tonight. Thank you.